the sexiest woman on television? Well, don't worry, we'll tell you. And coming up, Cloris's sizzling love life and the tragic drug death of her son. It's all next. She has been famous for about 60 of her 82 years, but as Cloris Leachman reveals to me, there is something stardom can't get you through, the death of a son. I think about him a lot. Cloris Leachman lost her son Brian to drugs in 1986. He was just 30. And it wasn't suicide, it was just an accident, you know. In fact, Brian had cleaned himself all out. It was so amazing to see him really without anything in him. Just amazing, beautiful person. And uh, he couldn't stand it. He just, he was too raw. It was too painful. Since then, Cloris has largely been silent. The reality of his accidental overdose too painful to publicly relive. But in private, she relives it every day. It gets worse. It doesn't get, time doesn't help at all. It just gets worse. You talk about him asking you for money and that you always gave him money, even though you sort of knew, but you didn't want to believe. It almost sounds to the reader like, in a way, you blame yourself for what happened. When kids are on drugs, you're not talking to the child, ever. You're talking to the drug. We had every experience you could ever imagine. Everyone. Brian was one of five children she had with producer-director George England. Their 25-year marriage ended in 1978, but together they wrote her new autobiography, Cloris, out now. Not many people have the kind of relationship where they can be in, the, in a room with their ex for five minutes, let alone write a whole book with them. Well, he knows all my stories, too, so that helps. She was a Miss America contestant. She's been a working actress for more than 60 years, winning an Oscar in 1972. And she won two of her nine Emmys for playing Phyllis on the Mary Tyler Moore Show. The complete series is coming out on DVD. I want to see you married, Mary. <laughs> well, me too. <laughs> because I'm married. <laughs> you don't talk a lot in the book about Mary. We only saw her when we were rehearsing and doing the show. We didn't have a chance to chat and get to be buddies. She says Ed Asner wanted to be more than buddies. Oh, Mr. Grant. He'd always say, oh, you're God's gift to man, I go, whoa. And so uh, one time we decided, we agreed that we'd have, uh, we'd do it if he lost 30 pounds. And he did. Well, he lost 29 pounds. And we looked at each other, he had one pound to go. I mean, what are we gonna do? <laughs> it's one thing to make an agreement, and it's another thing to do the agreement. Oh my God. Next thing I knew, he'd gained it all back again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he was scared? Yeah, we both were <laughs> terrified. <laughs> well, one that was supposed to be for you, obviously, was Gene Hackman. <laughs> that was back in the 70s. A still married Cloris says she and Gene were in San Francisco, both making movies. They had met just once before. You guys seemed like you had uh, something special. You had a it very was just passionate thrilling, encounter. Thrilling, thrilling, exciting. We could, couldn't get there fast enough. We were eating dinner. Oh, all of a sudden, just tore up through as fast as we could. They haven't seen each other since. He doesn't know that I wrote about it. <laughs> he doesn't know. He's going to know soon. Are you I expecting feel, to hear from him? I hope not. I feel sorry <laughs> if I do. It's your story to tell as well, I guess. Well, and you write a book and you want to sell it and, you, and people want to know things. So, it's, well, I'll tell you a couple of things. I like to tell them a couple of things. You certainly had a very exciting romantic life. Well, I, it's not all in there either. There's a lot that isn't in there. And I think I should write a book about the men I didn't have an affair with because it's very exciting. One Cloris does write about was one of the biggest TV and music stars of the 1960s. Andy Williams, we didn't. We were going to. We made a plan. We were gonna, we we're gonna get together. She says it would have been an affair years in the making. Andy was a childhood friend of young Cloris back in Iowa. And he had a crush on me since he was six years old and I was seven. Years later, Cloris says the good plan proved not so good. We decided that both our spouses were gone and it was a good idea. How come that one didn't work out? He made plans and 
a hotel and got a room and did everything. And then not, we're on our way there now, and he stopped for gas. And in the glove compartment, I had to get out his wallet, and I did. And it opened and went do 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 with pictures of his wife and chip. Oh, just, well, that was the end of it. And we both knew it. He had a terrible cold, too, just horrible cold. <laughs> it's so funny when people who aren't used to this sort of thing uh, <clears throat> are going to do <laughs> <laughs> but Cloris didn't have the only wandering eye in her marriage. She writes that her husband had his own affair with Joan Collins back in the 60s. You found out in a terrible way, and you get a call from her at 4 in the morning. After I just had a miscarriage. Oh, God, it was terrible. And I thought your line to her was one of the funniest things I've ever read. <laughs> you say to her, Well, do you think you two can make a go of it? I said. <laughs> Isn't that stupid? <laughs> then she said, but he loves you. And she had to go throw up and got all sick and we hung up. A few years later, Cloris got some revenge. We were sitting there and she said, oh, she said somebody was my best friend and she's my best friend. And I said, I remember when you were my best friend. <laughs> and she disappeared. I didn't even see her leave. She was gone instantly as if she wished herself away. Now, who are the sexiest man and woman on TV? Find out when we come back. This weekend in the ET Capital One birthdays, which television personality auditioned for the lead role in the 1980 big screen comedy Airplane? Is it Jay Leno, Pat Sajak, or David Letterman? Your answer's next in the ET Capital One birthdays. Νέα σεζόν, νέο περιβάλλον. Δύο κομμωτές αλλάζουν θέση. Και όλα αλλάζουν ριζικά. Yes! Split Ends, δεύτερος κύκλος. Σήμερα στις 4 το απόγευμα.